communication services collect call from Hi. an inmate at the Calumet County Jail. The use of three-way or a call rating will disconnect the call. This call will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, dial 5 now. Hello? Hey, what's up? It's going to get staticky for a minute here. Yeah, well, you all by the garage? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the garage. <laughs> well, maybe it won't. Normally it does. Maybe it's just good weather today. <laughs> yeah, I got that big door open too. Oh. I'm warming it up in here because it's still cold. Yeah, I was talking to one of the guards and she asked me if I wanted to talk to one of the detectives. Oh, did you talk to Steve or any of the other? What's that? You talked to your PO at all? Or? No, not yet. Dad's been trying to get old, but they said nobody would answer him. Good. I'm impressed with it. Well, it helps me. It's a two-stroke. 
Yeah. I got power like right on right, right now. Yeah, those four strokes they kinda need a little bit more. Oh fuck. <laughs> Aaron Wilcox is in here right now. No, imagine that. <laughs> Don't drive him. <laughs> yeah, that don't surprise me any. It's <laughs> over in C block. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to get shit packed up now and packed all oh, for going up north. Yeah, and sharpening the saws and Yeah, so uh, I was uh, I went to Bible studies, you know, so we go to get out of the cell for a while. Yeah. And uh there's this red haired chick in there, she fucking got my name. So she didn't want to write me. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, whatever. What's her name? Uh, Joanne or Joni or some shit like that. I don't know. She's new to the area, I guess. So I think there's a Kim Lizzie that should be on there, too. I don't. Not all the women go to this place. She knows you're in there. there. Kim Lizzie. Yeah. She's older. You and Nora, too. It's a dawn at Tecumseh. That house up the street from Mom and Ed's over here that was like buy or rent phone. Yeah. She used to live there and that's where she got divorced and stuff. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, I'm just hanging out. Doing much of nothing. Got a doctor's appointment set up in two weeks on my finger because the fucker's black and blue and shit and they're trying to say that it was infected and I'm like, these pills ain't even working. I'm like, an infection's not going to cause your finger to turn black and blue. I'm like, I didn't hit it on nothing, so and they're just like, Well, you know, I'm like, No, I wanna see my fucking doctor. Hmm. I ain't gonna sit here and play this fucking game. Like you guys ain't fronting the bill, I go workman's comp is taking care of this shit. Yeah. I got Brian four wheel right here. Oh, the, so, green, the green one or the yellow one? Green one. Looks like the yellow one's got that twist A frame or some shit on it. And I'm trying to get a hold of them because 'cause I'm going away for the weekend. If he wants he better come and get it 'cause once I'm gone, the garage is locked and done. He's probably at work right now. I've been calling him since last night. He keeps saying not in service. Oh, Ma said something about his phone might be shut off, so you might have to go put a note on his door. Oh, son of a bitch. I'll have the kids go over there later. I don't have time for that shit right now. I gotta get this shit done tonight. And that's like Steve. He's always, man, that fucker eats constantly. I mean, last night he was sitting there drinking his hot sauce. Well, I don't know, that guy ain't all there if you ask me. I'll tell you what, you better get used to not eating much. <laughs> don't remember soon. Yeah, so, and that shit with his uh, step niece or whatever is coming out with those sexual assault charges. Yeah, I heard that, no. Uh, you know, I got, I don't know if the guard or the detectives were listening in on that when that came out, well, but... He says he's got letters and shit of her saying that, you know, how her dad was molester and that, you know, some shit about him and that and it's like, oh. They said that came over in the investigation on the news, but who knows? Well, he said he's got those letters, but. I don't know. They could have phoned them. Or somebody phoned them and told them. Yeah. But I don't know. I was thinking about talking to that guard. She said she'd get it set up for me to talk to the detectives to where. She'd come back and get me and then have him say that, you don't know, say it's the counselor. that wants to see me and then take me out to go see him that way. And so I'm like, well, if you let, you know, pull, pull me out at a strange time than when I normally get taken out, he's going to suspect something, you know. And he ain't definitely going to say shit. Well, no, they know you know they're going to know. I don't know. She ain't been here since I talked to her the other day. And it's like I didn't get a chance to finish talking to her. Because I was out in the hall talking to her and stuff, and I didn't know if she could hear down here, so I didn't want to keep, you know. Yeah. I, I got to wait until she comes back and figure out a way to talk to her again. Yeah. Without him catching on to it, so. You didn't tell him where you live or nothing, huh? No, 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 no. I didn't say. I, I ain't worried about him anyways. Well, I wouldn't worry about him. You got family members and... Yeah, you know, his family's against him pretty much, you know, except for his mom and dad. His brother's trying to get on his girlfriend and shit. And, well, you know. This call was from the Calumet County Jail. This call may be monitored or recorded. I guess supposedly he, you know, him and her were, you know, getting their freak on. I guess his older brother came over to the house with a gun. And, you know, it's like, you know, what the fuck? You guys are fucked up in the head.
Sure. Wayne Kind or some shit that he stole her away from him and it's like whatever. Yeah, it sounds like they got some soap opera shit going on there. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Let me say that girl that made those sexual assault accusations, um, she's just trying to get back at him that she told him not to fuck with her. You know, it's like they should go down to Alabama, they probably fit right in. Yeah. Because the way he's always talking about women when he sees them on TV and shit, it's like, you know. Shit, last week I might want me to go shopping with her. I was like, all right, now get the hell out of here. I got work to do because every weekend she's bitching. We don't sit home, and when we go away, we spend too much money. And... I was like, no, you bitch about this every weekend. You want to go away, we go away. Then you bitch we spend too much money. So just sit home. Can't win for losing, can you? I said, I got plenty of stuff to do around here. And then Brian called, and I was like, oh, right, let's go for it. Can I go for it? He's like, yeah, I don't care. I was like, cool. <laughs> I said, oh, I got to get my four wheeler ready then. I ain't going shopping. <laughs> You got more work to do. See what happens when you go out and play. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jim's gonna help me, but he wants to have all the items here. Yeah. So it's like a weekend thing. Yeah. It'll be tore down and put back together pretty much in one weekend. You have one minute remaining. Well, that went quick, huh? Yeah. You know, it's a lot of time at work, but when you're screwing around, it don't take long. <laughs> well, I'll get off here and I'll probably talk to you next week. If I do that, I'll let you know what happens. Okay. All right, talk to you later, Kevin. Yep, bye. bye.